Do steroids make you strong? The short answer to that, and this is only for me to answer for myself, personal experience, is a big yes. They do make you strong. I'm not gonna, there's no point beating around the bush. 100% steroids and TRT make you strong. That's the short answer. Now the long answer is this, if you wanna listen. When I took steroids the first time, I told you guys, I've mentioned it before and I'll mention it again. The first thing that I took, sorry, and I didn't want to do any injectables because I was afraid of needles back then. Kind of still am, but luckily for me, now I know how to do sub-Q injections. Link is in the description if you guys want to know about that. I took oxymethrones tablets, 50 milligram. Uh, built up from dose from 25, snapped the tablet in half to 50 milligram. And nothing happened for about two weeks. I didn't get bigger. I wasn't more hungry. I wasn't full, I wasn't lean, nothing, zero effects. I was benching and I knew 100, I, I, my worst lift ever is bench press. That's how deadlift has always been strong, my squat's always been good, but my bench press was always weak. I could always bench press 100 kilo though naturally, so I'm repping away, three, four, five plates, uh, sorry, five plates, never done that. Uh, five reps, three, five, three to five reps. And one day, just out of the blue, whilst two weeks of being on steroids, I put 100 kg on the bar, I started repping it, and before you know it, I went past double figures, 12, 13, and I don't know how, I can't remember how many reps I got. So, yes, they do make you strong, but there's a lot of factors that go into it. So, first of all, water retention is a big thing. Now, when you have water retention, you're going to carry more weight. So, on the scale, you will definitely weigh, weigh a lot more. Now, as you know, in bench press, weight moves weight. Not necessarily true for deadlift and squat. I've always found when I get bigger and larger, I struggle to get into the, the, the groove of squatting and struggle to get into the placement of deadlift. But definitely for benching, weight moves weight. The bigger you are, the more technically you can kind of bench press. So 100% works for bench. And that's why I first felt it getting stronger on the bench press. Water retention was at its peak. So yes, probably not the healthiest thing to do. I didn't know anything about estrogen at that point and didn't know how to combat that side effect. So I was getting a lot of water retention. Probably had a lot of high blood pressure at the time as well, but it is what it is, you know? I was young, I didn't, have re I didn't really have a clue about what to do those days. Anyway, so that's the first thing. Second thing, I'm not gonna list them, but protein synthesis. So if you guys get wanna get a little bit scientific about it, your body, synthesizes protein at such an accelerated rate, whereas like if you had 100 grams of protein and you were natty, let's say your body, and this is, don't call, call me out on this, I'm just, this is just an, like, I'm not, no, it's not a guess, I'm just giving you like a general I idea of how it works. So let's say you had 100 grams of protein and you were natty, your body would probably use 50 grams of that protein to repair the muscles and the rest of it would just go around and go down its waist. But if you are on steroids, and you eat 100 grams of protein, 100 grams of protein is getting used to repair the muscles. So if you've got basically more men down there to repair, and that brings me to one of my main points for steroids. The main thing that comes for me for steroids and TRT, the, if I was to describe or to sum up steroids and TRT in one word, just one word, it would be recovery. Recovery is the main thing. Think of it as this, like, you know, you're building a house and you have a, a workforce of 10 highly trained guys. Sorry, no, let me, let, me, let, me, let me restart that. You have a workforce of 10 averagely trained guys working on your house. It might take them, I don't know, three months, or sorry, six months to build that house, okay? When you're on steroids, you've got a team of 20 highly skilled individuals, you're gonna get that house knocked up in one month, first and foremost. That's the, probably the best way to give an example, then obviously the house that 20 guys can build, 10 guys will never ever be able to build that house, which brings you to the point that if you're natural and you're gonna keep doing bodybuilding longer, will you get the same gains as somebody who is enhanced? Never, impossible, not gonna happen. So when you look at somebody like Chris Bumstead and you look at someone who's natural and you think, okay, he took the shortcut, it's sh shortcut to what? It's only a shortcut if everyone can get there. It can't be a shortcut if if you don't if if no one else can get there and only this guy can get there with taking steroids. It's not a shortcut. A shortcut is like okay, do you know what? He is he he has a track. 
and you take the shortcut, you've got there in half the time, but I'm gonna take the long road, eventually we will arrive at the same destination. But the truth is, for someone who's enhanced, like Chris Bumstead, someone who's natural, will never ever, ever be able to achieve that goal. So people, please stop saying steroids is a shortcut. It's a shortcut to nowhere, because the natty guy can never get on that road. Very simple. So going back to the same analogy, the house that 20 guys can build, 10 guys can never build it. It is impossible. They just cannot do it. They don't have the tools to build it. And that's technically what steroids is. Recovery, because you've got to break down the muscle first in order for it to grow. And the more your body's using this protein, the more it gives you the signal to eat. So you can eat more food. Now, I am a complete bitch when it comes to eating food. So for me, Yes, to be honest with you, if I, uh, sorry, let's just say, let's just call a spade a spade. If I wasn't on TRT, I would probably eat even less. I would be fuller on a lot less food. But now, because I am, and I have taken steroids in the past, yes, my body is giving me, it is telling me, bro, eat more food. And the harder I train when I was doing powerlifting, I was forced. My body was telling me, you need to eat more food. Otherwise, we're going to shut down. So yeah, 100% helps and increases your appetite as well. So please remember guys, steroids alone, the oil alone, like a bit of oil, 10 mil of oil or one mil of oil is not gonna add muscle. You can't take that oil, inject it, and all of a sudden muscle grows where that oil is. It's not how it works. You gotta do the work. And when it comes to strength, 100%, the byproduct of all these things combined eating right, sleeping as well, training hard, protein synthesis, all this kind of stuff, you know, all this sciencey, technological thing. Yeah, the byproduct of it is you're gonna get stronger. And you're gonna get stronger quicker. And you're gonna get stronger to the point we could never ever get naturally. So, that was the long-winded answer. Do steroids make you strong? Yes, they do. Hopefully this video gave you some value. Please comment down below, like and subscribe.